Hello and welcome back to another episode of Let's Develop Code Hunt in Sector 11, Task 4. I hope I will do better than with the last task, but let's see. In this puzzle we get in an integer array called list and an integer called modby and we're supposed to return an integer array. So my guess would be that we're just supposed to map this list of integers by applying the modular operation with this integer here which would be again quite easy using link expressions in C-sharp but since we're in Java we're going to do it the explicit way results or actually we, we can do this in place say int i equals zero i smaller list dot length and i plus plus of course and then we're going to set list i to list i modulo mod by. Let's see. This actually works, which is quite nice. So I'm going to continue on to the next task. Sector 11, task 5. This time we get in a list of strings and we're supposed to return a list of strings. And from what I see here, I would say we're supposed just to combi combine every two elements of this list. So the first and the second, the third and fourth, and if there's one left over, then we're supposed to leave it as is. So, okay, let's create a new string array result, which is a new string array of the list's length divided by two. This is not going to work because this is going to round down, whereas I want to round up. So either I make this a floating point thing, a floating point thing and do integer conversion on math seal or maybe I have a better idea how to calculate that later on. Let's see, for now we're going to return the result and then we're going to go over the list or the elements of the list to um, actually add them up and we're going to go over it by in, in steps of two. Does this work? Yeah, I guess this should work. If we do it like this, result equal result i. No, this does actually not work. No, we're going to go over it in steps of... <laughs> Let me think about this. Um, or, or it, it does work, it does work. We're going to go over it and assign to results i divided by 2, which is always rounded down. Um, the value list i plus list i plus 1 if the letter exists. So this is going to be conditional if um, list.length i plus 1 smaller list.length then we're going to append this one to i divided by 2. Let's see. So the difference is that here on the top I'm going to round up with using math seal to actually get one more than the half if the half is uh, is dot five, and in this case is I'm just always going to round down so that I don't have actually my my i value is already a a multiple of two so division by two 
will always work. Of course, I could do the other way around, just going up by one and then doing some multiplication thing stuff here. But I guess this is fine. And since it's actually working and I even get the full skill points for it, I'm quite content with this solution. Okay, and since it's already, uh, since it's not that, blah. Okay, and since this episode is not that long yet, I'm going to continue on to the next task. Wow, that is actually quite interesting. So we get in an integer array, we get in called grades, interesting and we're going to get in four values a b c and d we're supposed to return a string array interesting so let's see if we get in the grade 0 0 0 and 0 for some a b c d values we're supposed to return uh, as many e's as the values in the elements in the in the input list which is actually quite easy um, then we have four inputs again but this time the first element is set to, is set to 69 uh, 96 and now we have an a all of a sudden around here so in this case the value is bigger than a if I look down here where it is B, all of a sudden the value is smaller than A. It's even smaller here where I get C, and it's even smaller here where I get D. So maybe this is about the distance between these things. But then again, if I look here, it's 96 and 78. 96 and 78 and it's still an A which does make sense because the value here is bigger than the value here which is supposed to return A okay so far it makes sense to me so let's have a look at this um, here the value is bigger so we're returning an a, but here the value is actually also bigger and returning we're returning already a B so I don't yet see the rule to it I'm not yet entirely sure but what I know so far is I'm going to return a string array here and the string array is going to have the size of the a grades array so I'm going to have as many elements and of course I'm going to return this result thing and in addition I'm going to loop over this thingy here and do some mapping between the values in the array and the values in um, in the in the a b c d input thing here even though i'm not quite sure what this actual mapping is supposed to be so okay result i equals something of which i'm not quite sure yet my first guess was that i'm just going to map to do a mapping between index 0 and A, index 1 and B, index 3 and C, index uh, four, uh, 3 and D, but there are longer input thingies here where I see that there's a 0, 0, which corresponds to the EE and uh, 6464 which 
is the DD and then we have the A thing here. <laughs> How is this mapping supposed to be calculated? So maybe maybe I'm getting this wrong here because what I just realized is that in this case the value is bigger than A so I get an A here and for the others I get E because it's zero. If I go down here then I get an A because this is bigger than 95, I get an A here because it's bigger than 95 and I get zero, I get E's for the others because it's smaller. And then I have here an A because 60, uh, 96 is bigger than 89. I get a B for these because 80 is bigger than 79. 80 is bigger than 79 again. And I get an E here. So maybe this is just the lower bounds for the grades. The only question is whether this is including or excluding, but we'll figure that out. So let's try to say result i is bigger than a, in this case a, else, uh, oh, not result actually, but grades. Um, grades i is bigger than b, return b, else, grades i is bigger than c then return c not really a nice expression i'm constructing here but let's figure this out if it works i is bigger than bigger than d return d else return e let's see whether that works and what the style rating thinks of this I've really given up on predicting the style thing. Okay, and we see now from this one that it actually should be including, so it's not bigger, but bigger or equals here. Bigger or equals, bigger or equals, bigger or equals, and just recompile it and hope that it works out now. Looks good so far. So I'm able to give grades. Nice. Um, come on. And it even gives me the full skill rating. And by the way, I unlocked sector 12. But of course, I'm going to finish sector 11. This is it for today. Thanks a lot for watching. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up. If not, drop me a comment or send me a message. Let me know what you think. And have a look at my channel and the other things I'm doing. Maybe there's something interesting for you. So this is goodbye for now and hope to see you next time.